Placing your skill set on a macroeconomic scale. No single piece of macroeconomic advice given by the experts to their government has ever had the results predicted. Peter Drucker. Peter Drucker also is uh, famous for saying culture eats strategy for breakfast. So I think I would agree with him that we, we need to pay attention to what influences our culture. Culture is what uh, is shared beliefs between people about uh, an event, a place, uh, or a thing. So it is perception, essentially, uh, that is shared. So we really want to shape culture by sharing, by shaping perceptions. And we know that we do that within our, our awareness cycle. Microeconomics focuses on individual markets, effects on a price of a good, individual labor markets, individual consumer behavior, and the supply of a good. Macroeconomics looks at the whole economy. It looks at inflation. It looks at employment, unemployment, aggregate demand. That is the demand that is aggregated across multiple consumers. It looks at productive capacity of an economy. Why do we care about macroeconomics? If we're employees, if we're individual contributors, if we're scientists and engineers, well, we're not just scientists and engineers in a vacuum. What we do affects our teams, our companies, and an entire industry. Even though individual contributors may have responsibility that is focused, it, it's, it, we still are part of a larger whole economy, a whole industry that moves markets, that's both affected by markets and influences markets. We, in Frictionless Enterprise, care about both. We use the analogy of microscope and telescope. Microeconomics is a microscope. We examine deeply what it is that we influence. Telescope is macroeconomics. We peer out over the landscape and see what is influencing and impacting us. Please stop right now, pause lesson, and ask yourself, what is my microscope? What does my microscope see within my particular context as an individual contributor for my orientation? Now ask yourself the telescope question. What do I see as broader trends across the economy and my industry that impacts my orientation as an individual contributor? Okay, now that you've captured that, let's look at how it all works together. If you are a household, and you contribute to, you receive wages from your firm, you then invest those wages in savings in a financial market, uh, a financial institution, a credit union, a bank that then loans money to the firm that just paid you. That firm then actually moves money back and forth between exports and imports to foreign markets. There's goods and services that you purchase as a household, which then sends that money to firms so they can make purchases. And then all, uh, all parties involved, firms, your household, foreign markets, all pay taxes to governments uh, who then pay wages to their employees and so on and so on. I want you to draw this diagram in your Miro and place yourself in the household and Ask yourself, what financial market slash financial institutions do you invest in and what firms, enterprises, companies do that financial institution invest its firm, its, its uh, finances in? And then write down just a few details on how your firm either exports and imports into foreign markets, pays taxes, and how government employees potentially impact you and potentially their wages and their, their pensions uh, to the best of your awareness. Go ahead and draw that diagram in your Miro. 
Okay. That is your orientation as it relates to your macroeconomic context. In April of 2021, the International Monetary Fund did a growth projection by region all over the world. The net was in 2020, the entire global economy lost 3.3, negative 3.3%. In 2021, IMF projects that the global economy will, will grow by 6%. And by 2022, 4.4%. Each region listed here, the United States will grow by 6.4% in 2021. Emerging and developing um, Asia will grow by 8.6% in 2021. Sub-Saharan African, Sub-Saharan Africa will grow by 3.4% in 2021. And Latin America and the Caribbean actually will grow by 4.6% in 2021. Europe will grow by 4.4% and the Middle East will grow by 3.7% all within 2021. These are just a simple example of total gross domestic product uh, as related, related by percentage across the globe. I want you to pause here, actually go back to your Miro and ask yourself, how would foreign markets be impacted by growth by the gl the global markets and the exports and imports that are impacted in the context your market your your macroeconomic con context that you captured in your mirror how would they be impacted by this these growth projections for the year that's listed here is there an impact if so how does that impact you and your context.